Once upon a time, in a bustling industrial town, there lived a young man named Daniel. He toiled tirelessly at a bustling automobile factory, where his mentor, an experienced engineer named Mr. Harrington, had been his guiding light. Mr. Harrington imparted invaluable wisdom to Daniel, speak less, do more, and never cease honing your skills in every facet of our factory's operations. A decade later, Mr. Harrington retired, leaving Daniel to carry the torch of knowledge forward. Daniel, true to his mentor's teachings, continued to work diligently, pouring his heart and soul into every task. Despite his unwavering dedication, he couldn't help but feel a growing sense of discontentment. It seemed that while he had mastered every aspect of the factory's operations, others with less experience and fewer skills were rapidly climbing the corporate ladder. One day, Daniel decided to pay a visit to his retired mentor, who lived in a peaceful cottage by the edge of town. Mr. Harrington noticed the sadness in Daniel's eyes and asked, What troubles you, my dear friend? With a sigh, Daniel opened up, I've followed your advice faithfully all these years, but I can't understand why I've been overlooked for promotions. Those with lesser skills and experience have been rewarded, while I remain in the same position as when I was your apprentice. Mr. Harrington, his eyes filled with understanding, replied, Daniel, are you certain that you've made yourself indispensable to the factory? Daniel nodded earnestly, saying, absolutely, Mr. Harrington. I've done everything I can to contribute, Mr. Harrington paced back and forth, pondering the situation. After a thoughtful pause, he turned to Daniel and said, Daniel, I have an unusual suggestion for you. Take a day off, for whatever reason you like. It's time you give yourself a break, this advice bewildered Daniel, but the more he contemplated it, the more it made sense. He thanked Mr. Harrington and swiftly left to request a day off. When he returned to work after his brief respite, he was summoned to the manager's office. To his astonishment, the manager explained that during his absence, the factory had encountered numerous problems that only Daniel could have solved. Recognizing his true value, the manager decided to promote him to the position of senior technician. Overwhelmed with gratitude for his mentor's wisdom, Daniel realized that this was the secret to success. From that point on, whenever he felt undervalued or deserving of more recognition, he would take a day off. Remarkably, upon his return, the situation at the factory consistently improved to his satisfaction. This pattern continued for several months. However, one fateful day, Daniel arrived at the factory only to discover that he was denied access. Shocked and confused, he learned that his employment had been terminated. With a heavy heart and wounded pride, he sought solace in his mentor's wisdom once more. Why did I lose my job? He asked Mr. Harrington. Mr. Harrington, with a tinge of regret, replied, Daniel, you misunderstood the lesson. You grasped the concept that people appreciate something more when it's gone, but you missed the second, crucial part. Perplexed, Daniel inquired, what was the second part of the lesson? Mr. Harrington explained slowly, the second part, my dear friend, is that if something is absent too frequently, it will be replaced with something more dependable. People need consistency and reliability in their lives. They don't want to constantly worry if the light will go out. As the realization sank in, Daniel understood the profound meaning behind Mr. Harrington's teachings. It wasn't just about seeking recognition and appreciation, 
It was also about striking a balance between making oneself invaluable and taking occasional breaks to be appreciated. With newfound clarity, Daniel left Mr. Harrington's cottage, determined to find equilibrium in both his professional and personal life. He decided to express his gratitude to those he had taken for granted and to ensure he was not overlooked at work. In doing so, he found that life indeed rewarded him with the balance he sought. In the end, Daniel's journey taught him that success isn't just about working tirelessly and seeking recognition, it's about recognizing the value of others, appreciating the reliability of those who support us, and striving for a harmonious balance in life. If you found this video inspiring, make sure to hit that subscribe button for more motivational videos.